Fragment Nade going to be clearing a part of that one. And now here comes the waterfall right down and out. Fragment Nade finds it. And the fight's being taken. Fnatic. Lovely opener here for Loud, but a return from Durka. Paranoia. Just onto his face. Might have been friendly fire, but okay. Aspas completely separated from the rest of his team now. Just getting a little bit awkward still. They're attacking protocols and the set plays, the teamwork. It's all really good. It's their bread and butter. And look at this. Three of the players allowed. Oh, he just gets out the way. They seem to know, though. He know the position and the dash into the wall. What a blunder. Loud quick to capitalize. And look at the squeeze that's occurring. Leo. Fnatic are not going to be deterred. They want to try and take this one. Jumping down onto the site. Up top. Tap of the spike. Seeing if they can force the positioning. It's Chronicle. Unaware of any sort of players in his sight lines. The pit dropped down. Down two to two v two. And Bose is taking it. Half of the defuse gets out of his life, and Leo, what is that? One could be Creeping behind him. Yeah, crawling. A lovely one claim, still. Shock dart, Chronicle. It's a trailblazer. A wider swing from Sadak, lucky to get out alive, and he does a decent amount of damage. Bruising Durka, but not dissuading him. Going back for more. Darlining him up. How does Sadak claim that one? But it's an even fight. Made a bunch across the angle. There's a smoke in his way, and they are none the wiser allowed. Getting silenced here. The tap of the spike rotates around. It's a little bit awkward, but guess what? It's a triple for Boaster Durka. All reliable. And two at the end. That's the cherry on top. Active now, the Seekers. One after another. Lurin at Util. Pushing forward, and they want to fight for this. A bit of running. Miracles. Jumping, hopping around the side, but less is that extra guy. And he's making it so damn hard. Still, the jiggle with the movement out the air. Traded. Down to Chronicle, and how does he want to play this in the 1v beginning? Look at how difficult it is for Durka to be able to get any space in mid or B main. These are normally areas where Jet Hoppers thrive. And it's a bit awkward, it's a bit strained, but two years, he's out on an island. No help from the rest of his team, down to just two. Let's look at the job. Is that a bit of an overheat from Leo, perhaps? Tries to find it, but it is just left up to the IGL, and he will be denied any opportunity of making the most of that. Snake bite relieves that. The, the spike is on Boaster. Wow, that's an important fight to win. He's still here, he's still waiting. This could be a disaster for Fnatic. Overcooking this one. Can't be saving these pistols, not into this round. And Sadak will answer kindly. What's cleared. Knife in, Boaster. How do you win this one? Well, his team's going to be helping him out. Play to be made. Dashes forward, cuts it up. They know Alfie is here. And he loses the battle. Handing over a rifle, Aspas is deadly. Vandal in his hands. Flick at a wrist, dodging, weaving. Players a Lodo and another dart revealed. Leo set up. And how do you clear him out? Just absolutely bunkered. Time running low. Spike. Barely any time left to play with. What is that? Sadak making the most. Leo, how do you hold on? 30. Nothing for this one. Hunter's Fury leads the charge, leads them in. Jumping, skipping straight past the nano swarms, but Durga's taking so much damage. And wow, that's was trying to avoid it. Anchoring into the back of the site. It's a lovely collection of utilities. That ult that he picked up, dash forwards, cutting it across. It's a coordinated play, it's a coordinated strike. And Fnatic turning the arena into a library. It's a way of his life. It's a faster play, still loud. Look to try and fight them. From the bit of damage, Molly at his feet. Space to the fuse, out for year. Pressure from the back, don't want to go for it. No time being played. Running forwards out for year. An absolute madman. Should be done. should be easy cleanup here for Fnatic. But they're gonna try and keep as many players alive as possible. They've got two Bulldogs and a Vandal to hold off into the next. Utility are now gonna start to come through, or at least. Chronicle, stun, out in the open, Leo. A swing to bail out his teammate, his compatriot. Wing, narrowly escaping, but he is being threatened, but the crosshair placement is immaculate. Leo, no. They're weak, though, and that spacing is not good. Alphia trying to play directly on top of the body, and Kamenzin looks to shut it down. Alphia is so low inside the smoke. We're going to be spotting this one. It's a battle on multiple fronts still. Oh, the timing! And Aspas doesn't let it rip there, but a rolling thunder will catch him stunned up. There's no way he gets away with it, and indeed he does not. But look at this, Fnatic. 
fast to try and bail him out. They don't expect the backstabber to rise for now. Now the Rolling Thunder, and it's a collapse. Fnatic want to fight. They don't want to make this easy. Taking back their space. Nightfall on line and plan will go down. Not too many problems. Molly missing. So many angles to watch for. So many angles to watch for. Yet it's Aspas. Consistent. And where is the layers? Running, skipping, hopping all the way through canteen. Stun. Reswing, not expecting it. And Bosto, oh my goodness, damage. Beat precaution. It's a Doing lovely. Bosto. It's a lovely reposition. This fight. Aspas. No way. What was Aspas looking at? He had the timing. He had everything. He misses the easy kick. After shot, making sure nobody can swing. Yet it is. Equal trades, and even fight, and through all five of them, Util sailing right over the edge, and a fight to be taken still. Fnatic, unable to give up any ground, unwilling to give up any ground, but it's afforded them the ult. Rolling Thunder clears and cleaves, but still, there's layers to it. The Molotov at their feet, Kauzin burns to a crisp and a risky play indeed. Watch for though. Try brutal. Could be pivotal. Absolutely brutal. Backs away, survives. Bit of spam, Les has worked himself into the angle, and despite being so low, making plays! Skipping a hop through, Fnatic are so quick to plug up any sort of gaps in the defensive protocols. The head... Still, almost getting your head taken off there, Boaster has to back away, Leo returns the fire. Does not get out unscathed. Spike has entered the side, it's up to them. Goes in with the plant. Dweez has a start, but he's got to fend off Alpha yet. And this is it. Over the trips, Cages, though. This is throwing so much into the mix. But eventually, he is dealt with, cleaned up. Still, the Neural Theft was able to get online, and Poster, he collects a kill because of it. Cross her placement, not ideal for Turka. And a good kill from Sadak. That's going to go into chaos, moving forwards. Leo does not win it out, yet still, look at that! Main can't be contained with time on the clock, bleeding low, Durka with the most to do. Cosmic device puts a cross, right click. Take the fight, it's Aspas with the knives though, and look at this, Seekers push forwards, it's a right click. Won't have any more to throw at him. Pound for pound, anchoring at the back, most of vulnerable. They are together, Alfie is gonna bait him, no way! A triple for Durka. He's just supposed to be the bait there, the tasty worm on the end of the string. And they don't expect this. Alpha year strikes and he Nade, you tell you, Sadak's in the air. And his head's been ripped clean off still. Two years. What is that? Collapse. Holding in the paranoia is not good. Flicking a wrist over to the side. It's a dangerous situation. And Aspas, he tries to skip and hop. He tries to jump to safety, but it's Fnatic who are coming up with all the kills. Massive two entries there from Fnatic. And Durka, respite taking place, and I can't see a bloody thing. And it's up to Fnatic to contain, to respond, resurrect, used. Space has no sound cues, paranoia, TP across, but this time Boaster's managed. Percentage play, just bordering from insanity to genius. And of course it doesn't work out, high ground position. And the clearance isn't there, Fnatic. How do they do it? Another crazy TikTok wall coming out from Leo. And Durka's going to keep this position for the post plan. Spike planted, flash catching, but he TP's across. A hard reclearance, but the spike was planted in the middle of all of this one. Loud. Starting to squeeze, got to find these kills. Look at the push. The B main players from Fnatic are wrapping all the way around. There's all flanks the around. on flanks. A pincer play, a pincer maneuver. On top, on the angle, and that's bad. Now he's going to be using it. Why not throw it into the mix? And alongside it, fight's being taken, and it's all coming up, Fnatic. A kill feed of green. And it's vibrant. It's looking good. Well, Kawazin and Sadak have got something to say about it. Winnable the danger. Still a situation. The Fnatic, surely you don't do it. Poster trying to stick it, does not claim half. Kills flooding in and no more time. Prior work wasn't put in. And what a huge round for Loud to claim. Tagging on to Aspas. He's gonna be a prowler at his back. Maybe he can't quite hit anything. Wall, everything on this one, Boaster. Good positioning for him, but still. Time starting to be bled away. It's down to this fight that's being taken place. Alpha year, dealt with, traded, loud. In gonna do that damage. Thorn in the side. Smoke crossed up. Leo before it even bursts. It was a recall. Oh my! 
The IGL making the most of it. Back in case that contact play is there. Cosmic Divide. It's a cacophony of ultimates being used, and that really does invite more. Less. Oh my. Reaction. Alfium majestic with it. Moment, and Dirk is going to walt in. 20 seconds left, it's everything. Showstopper exchange, but look at that. Snake bite, Nano Swarm, reset, let's win four. Far back enough that there's still going to be options, availability. And again, the important player here to deal with is Sadak. And Sadak, anchor around the side, two. Spike though, not being defused, but angles one. Door broken. Kawazin to hold. Lovely shot from Alpha. What do you do? What do Fnatic do once they first get hit? Once that first punch lands, do Fnatic have what it takes to be able to rally? Oh, You've got to be kidding me! An overheat in the moment, but still maybe Chronicle can salvage it. There was a flash play to set that one up, but running out of ammunition, running out of bullets, it matters not. Three in the round. More than aware that they are scaling into it. Aspas is so far away from this hit. Yeah. All the way back on B. He's going to be that last final piece of the puzzle. But a spike denied. There's no time left. Good Five spam. seconds. Spike in the hands. And it is Aspas who has to do the most. And he does. Distraction in the play. And the pieces get picked up. It's amazing that he didn't end up falling. Chronicle's got his back, though. Util there. Back against the wall. Dirk somehow comes up with the kill. How would the Fnatic go to and A risk by Durka. A swing up in their faces, but he's met with a lockdown. Respect has to be shown. Still, he overstays it. The damage for it. War forwards, close. Fight taken, trades are there. Alpha, yeah, so much to do. Reset of the Spectre. Down to that 2v2. Can Fnatic survive? Pop flash is good. Kawazin low. This is going to be on Fnatic. Wall beginning to be broken. Plant push back now to Seekers. It's every single element included into this game plan. Up top, angles watch for Chronicle. Stand up, wider swing, Leo's good. Half on the health, but still can't claim the kill. Down to that two on two. The spike still not planted. Same players left alive for loud. One falling, Turka. Disengages, Spike in his clutches. Inside the pit, will we see it happen? It's a war being fought on multiple fronts. And water falling into the back of the side, it's loud, looking to reclaim that space. Tap on the Spike. Hiding their position though, planted up into that top angle. Tough, the time pressure. It feels like Lotus all over again. 25 seconds. Wall's not gonna be broken, so it should be that plan. Now starting to come through, Reckoning, Hunter's Fury, everything at the... Playing the inevitable as the plan will start to go down now, but still, something's got them in a tizzy. Can't quite get the spike down. Chronicle now starting to stick it because time is running low. 12 seconds, wall breaking. Now making the most of it tonight. It's less. Comes down to it, him and Asmus, what can they do? Time running so damn low. But just enough, Millis. They've relinquished a little bit of that pressure. Trailblazer sees nothing on A though, and these players return to B. War Force though, was it come properly? Reset it through, Rifles carries them forwards. But it doesn't win them around, not just yet. Two on two. Alarm boss spotted, right down the middle, Less. He's lined up and set up, yet still Chronicle. Lands the shot, Sadak stunned, and he's still, no one watches. Spike to the side, louder doing it. Fnatic risking them up, re-swing, swings down, spray down! And everyone falling, everyone collapsing. It's deafening, a gloom enters the arena. As Fnatic, they can feel it. Inexorable, inevitable, however you want to call it. One round away, and the fight is over. 14-12 to 9 to Rover.